Bridging the gap between blindness and fashion. Fashionistas Lush Hall. Greetings everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by a very special guest. This is Freddy, my little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and he's going to be helping me present this haul video that I have for you today and it is a Lush haul. Um, this is going to be the first of four hauls for you this week. That's right, you heard me correctly, four videos, not one, not two, not three, but four. And the reason I'm doing four is because I have bought a lot of stuff recently, but also because my last haul video that I did, which was a Primark haul, was incredibly popular, and I feel that it's something that you guys would benefit from, from seeing all of my um, things that I've been buying. So, I can't promise I can do another haul straight away, because I am studying for my exams at university at the moment, so I'm going to be paying to my desk for however long but when I can get out and actually do some shopping I will do another one for you if you like these ones um, so let's get rolling okay so if you haven't seen already I don't have them in the conventional lush bag that so many people have it in um, but what I have basically done is I have put all of my lush things that I've bought into this nice little wicker um, basket with all of this decorative um, grass type thing that I got from Tiger Tiger and it's also got all of my Lush products and it's kind of a little Easter display so I'm going to show you what all I got so let's start and we'll delve into my little lucky dip. Now I can condone actually everything I bought because I went to Lush yesterday and it was it had not been the best day for me I have been really 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 annoyed by a few things and I kind of channeled my annoyance and frustration through shopping in Lush is that bad just a little bit okay just a little bit bad but okay we're gonna go with it anyway because there's a haul from that anger and frustration for you all so please do carry on watching and I hope you enjoy it well first thing I got when I went into Lush recently was this and it is the Charity Pot and it's their uh, hand and body moisturiser and it's got all these nourishing things like almond oil and a slight bit of vanilla extract, um, cocoa butter, shea butter and it's a really rich creamy product. I'm going to try and show you without tipping the contents all over the bed which would be very good would it? So if you can see that it's basically this just cre no you can't eat it Freddy no you can't eat it it's basically this really nice creamy product which gives um, really nourishes your skin um, and it just leaves it feeling really nice and the whole idea behind Charity Pot is that they actually all of the money that they make from using I've got it on my hand by the way um, all of the money that they make from actually making and selling this product goes towards a charity um, charities that don't usually get a lot of recognition so on that one there was the Fox Project which helps to protect and support foxes in the UK which is great um, and there's many different charities like that and you can check it all out on the Lush website um, so I got that what else did I get in this basket? Oh look, it's a familiar one. It's the Hair Doctor. Um, now the Hair Doctor was one that I bought when I first encountered Lush a while ago, um, back in very early January. And I actually featured this in my favourites video. It's basically their hair and scalp mask and it's really nourishing, really nice. It's like food for your hair. It's really, really great if you want something to really repair it, if you've had a lot of damage done to it by colour processing or too much straightening or blow drying or whatever. Um, and I believe this was £6.95. Um, I'm not going to go on too much about this one because it was in my favourites video, but if you want to find out more about it, check that out because I would give a bit of a more extensive review on what I thought about this. It's another favourite of mine, it is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Now this is a product you, you will use in the shower or the bath, but preferably, preferably the shower though to be honest. And it acts like um, a moisturiser that you wash off. Um, it smells divine, it's really, it's 
it's got kind of a florally set smell, but it's also, you can really smell the argan oil that they use in that, and also that's sort of the shea butter and the cocoa butter, um, and combined it really makes for a pleasant shower experience. If you're in a rush and you can't maybe wait for moisturiser to dry on your skin, this is the product for you. Um, I will put the links of all the products and their prices below because I can't remember offhand how much they were and I don't want to get something wrong. Um, but suffice it to say, this is brilliant. It's my second pot that I've bought now, so I'm really, really, really glad to be trying this again um, and giving it another whirl. Um, getting through all of the kind of the general, um, well, the, the general kind of like products that I use all the time, then I'll get onto the bath bombs and bath bubble baths and stuff. So another product I got was OT Fix. And OT Fix is one of their fresh face masks that they have on offer. And basically it's got oats and bananas and it smells a little bit like porridge, the soap that they have, but combined with a bit of a more, even more oaty smell than that one. So it's really, really great. It, it nourishes your skin. It's one if you've got skin that's a bit more drier or skin that feels really quite, um, has patches of quite dry areas and things like that. It works really well for that inside actually, because I have, I have used a bit of it recently though, as has most of my family. Um, let's move on to something more exciting, which is bath bombs, isn't it? Yes, it's bath bombs and bubble bars and other such things. Okay, so this one is the Blue Skies and Fluffy White Cloud. Um, and I recently ran out of this actually. Um, it's my absolute favorite bubble bar. And it's basically, it's got frankincense and patchouli um, extracts in there to um, combine to make this really, really, really um, de-stressing, relaxing bath experience. It really foams up well, it makes lots and lots of bubbles. It's great if you're under a lot of stress like me from doing a degree and having lots of things on my mind and it really helps you settle your mind. And it's one of those products where you're like, I've had a really bad day, I'm really stressed, what can I use in the bath to help with this? You can use this. Um, and it lasts you quite a while. I only use probably about, I'd say about a quarter of that actually because it's a really good product, it really foams up well. So you don't need a lot of it to, um, to make your bath foam nicely. So less is more with this product I'm going to say. So, my, my hands, I'm going to have to stuff in the in this video, aren't I? Uh, the next bar, bubble bar I got, oh, oh la la, look, it's the French Kiss. And it looks so cute, I love it. Mmm, you like this one too, don't you, Freddie? And he's smelling it, by the way. This is basically, it is um, a little whirly shaped bar, uh, bubble bar, and it's in sort of a lilac and white colour, and it's all swirly, with these little lavender bits sticking at the top and it's got lavender and thyme and rosemary extracts in it and it, it's, it smells like if you kind of had a, a herb garden in, in your actual back garden or something it smells like that it's got this real fragrant earthy scent in it and it's really nice to help you to sleep um, would make a nice gift for someone because it looks so pretty um, this is my second one of these I've actually bought and I really 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 love it Okay, so now moving on to another bubble, bubble bar I got. Bubble bar, bubble bubble. I don't know what I'm saying today, I'm sorry. Um, it's the Mumpkin, and you can't eat this one. And look how cute that is! It is so sweet, isn't it? It's basically, I don't know what this is supposed to represent. It's a pink face, I think, with this little star shaped thing on the top. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to resemble, but it smells like raspberries and fruit and strawberries and it smells a little bit like summer fruit combined with raspberry ripple but a lot nicer it is a really 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 sweet bubble bar one that i've not actually used as yet um so i'm going to be really excited to try this one out and it's actually one of the exclusives for mother's day but i'll be giving this a whirl and i'll let you know what i think of it uh i believe this is the final bubble bar that i've actually got in here and it's the cutest, it's the little white bunny bubble bar. And it's one of their exclusive ones for Easter. Basically, it's a little white bunny with little lavenderish colour eyes, and it's got a pink underneath. I think, basically, I would have gathered that it would turn your bath to a shade of maybe pink, but I've not used this one, so I wouldn't be able to comment on it, to be honest, but it's my guess. And 
it's got um, coconut um, oil extracts in there. It's also got kind of um, sort of like a candy scent in it as well that they actually use. But I've heard apparently this smells like Snow Fairy, one of their Christmas ones. Um, I've not smelt Snow Fairy myself, so I couldn't give you a comparison, but that's what I've heard from other vloggers. But if you like that scent, or if you like things that are really sweet and sugary, then you probably would like this one. Um, but give it a try anyway, because they're, they're, it's quite cheap for this one. It was £2.95, so you can always see if you like it or not. So, moving on to the last few products I've got in here now. This one, what are you doing? Um, this one is the Stepping Stone Foot Scrub and it's basically a mint green um, foot shaped product which is like an exfoliating bar which is a bit similar to some of their other ones they do like the um, Aqua Minerals or something I can't ever pronounce the name of that and it's basically you can you wet it and you use it to scrub your feet and get rid of all the dead skin it smells a bit it smells a little bit like Breath of God their um, perfume that they do a bit spearminty, a bit minty, really fresh. Um, but I've not used this one before. But anything to improve the state of my disgusting, horrible-looking feet that I hate, I am going to buy it. So I will let you know again what I think of that one. Ah! All this stuff on me. Stop grunting, Freddie. You make all these grunting noises. So another product I got from Lush was this one, and it's the Breath of God perfume. And I think this one is the atomizer. Um, not that I've ever tried any of their perfumes before, but like I said, it smells a bit like that foot scrub I just showed you. But it's got patchouli in there, neroli, it's got kind of spearmint and stuff in that as well. It's very fresh and um, a clean scent, but what I would recommend, this is a very strong perfume and it's one that you need to spray on the skin to let the PhD balance actually work with the perfume because if you put it on straight away it's very strong so you need to give this a chance to work um, it, this might not be one for everyone because it is quite strong but just try it see what you think maybe go into Lush spray it on your arm think about it for a while and then come back and if you like it you can buy it along with anything else you want to buy and if not at least you've tried it nothing mentioned nothing gained so the final product I got in my Lush haul was this. Now I technically didn't buy this last one, um, I was given it as a little goodwill gesture by the lovely girls in the Bromley store because I'm always in there spending my money and this I think it's called the Ice Mint or the Ice Fox or something, it's one of their soaps basically and it's really minty, really pepperminty, fresh, it smells like something you'd want to have it during the summertime because I have just finished my porridge lush soap that I love but that is one I want to keep for more of a wintry fragrance because otherwise I wouldn't associate it with being something wintry and comforting so I'm gonna restrain myself and not buy another one until the next winter time which is quite sad but I have this one to keep me company in the shower now so let's see how this one goes so another thing I've got which I can't actually open and show you is this um, little interesting mysterious parcel wrapped in this light blue scarf which Lush actually offer. Basically you can pay to have a scarf um, and you can have some of your items wrapped up in it and made to look really pretty for a present maybe or just something really special. So um, it's got some of the bath bombs for Mother's Day for my mummy but like I said I can't show you it. Um, because it's going to spoil the surprise and I know she's always watching my YouTube channel so I don't want to do that um, but check it out because I've got some really great things for Mother's Day um, and I'm sure if your mum likes Lush then she'll be very very happy to receive a little bundle just the same as this one here. Okay so that was the end of my Lush haul I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed having a little four-legged guest but I've really enjoyed smelling the products didn't you? Hey! So thank you very much for watching, as ever like and subscribe, let me know what you thought of this video and see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! So, bloopers. The first thing I got was, when I, what was that all about? Mm -hmm. Stop putting these faces because I think something's going wrong and the night it distracts me. I'm going to start off with this one today. Oh no mum! <laughs> Sorry! Yeah. Just stop. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know how to salute you guys. It's it's been. Uh, I can't talk to that.